Hey, I'm glad to see some of you guys are still watching my videos. Um, i like to thank you for that. Uh, I want to show you the latest project I've been working on. I haven't been on for a while. Uh, this here is a um, uh, CNC mill I'm working for. A friend of mine got me into this project. And um, <coughs> I thought I'd give you a view of some of the detail that I've drawn into it. I've, I'm kind of engineering and drawing this all at the same time. Um, this mill sits in a footprint of uh, 15 by 6 foot by 8 foot tall. Um, it's designed to cut foam blocks and to actually um, router or shape, they call it shaping, uh, surfboards and uh, body boards and the such of that. So it, it's basically going to be uh, routing foam. It, it would be capable of routing wood too, as heavy as it's being built. This is all being built out of two inch, quarter inch thick um, tube steel. So um, there's no 80-20 in this project. I just, that stuff looks flimsy to me. Looks like somebody's erector set. A um, couple of details. I try to zoom in on some of this here, give you an idea of um, what what the parts look like. Uh, this is a big big file here so it may be a little difficult to get in close but I'll zoom in and you can see some of the detail this is these are actually um, let me get a pointer here these are actually uh, the steel rails runners they're quarter inch thick um, polished um, <coughs> um, coal roll steel uh, these are roller uh, slider blocks. They're, you can't see these two because they're actually this one. There's four of them, one in each corner. And that's the x-axis. Uh, there's four blocks designed here. They are the uh, z-axis. And I'll zoom back out. Then I'll show you uh, the y-axis. There will be a motor on each end, a slave and a master. Uh, We'll zoom in right here, and you can see the y-axis. It's going to be a belt drive system, uh, one inch uh, T5. It's about an inch T5 belt. Um, it'll be a belt-on-belt belt system, and it, it's steel reinforced belting. So there, there really is no flex in this. A lot of people are leery of belt, but there's there's less noise and less chatter and higher speeds with the belting system than there would be. Um, with an actual rack and pinion system and the the problem with being a foam router is that the foam will accumulate in the teeth um, it's got like a static charge when you route it and it literally just attaches itself to everything so this system that I've designed for this has is going to use a um, it's UHMW-PE plastic. It's uh, oil impregnated plastic for the slides. Um, <coughs> uh, either that or um, uh, Teflon PTFE. I, I'm, the, the Teflon actually has a, light lo uh, a lot lower coefficient of friction. Um, I haven't really decided yet. The, the difference in expense for the two materials is about double, but even at that, it's not really that high. Um, this, uh, the weight and the load factors on this aren't going to be enough to wear this thing any more than uh, <coughs> any of the old like Bridgeport Mills or anything that has... Uh, uh, dovetails and they uh, I've left provisions in the drawings for um, adjustment <coughs> as they do wear and they can be easily replaced so it's it's not a it's not going to be a major item here if you look there is um, actually screws and plates that this is the uh, plastic material that will be the guide um, this is the polished steel coal roll that it'll run on. These are the adjusting screws if if uh, it's necessary. Um, <coughs> but it it's it's not going to be an issue on this. 
a lot of people want to build them with the uh, the ball roller tracking like the high wind type tracking and I, I don't agree with that for the reason that you have to lube that track uh, that block with grease and if you ever look at the machine um, it leaves a layer of grease on the actual um, track and that dust will get in with that grease and when it runs back over it it's gonna eventually fill that bearing up I can't I can't see of an efficient way of wiping if the wipers on the block were that good they wouldn't be leaving the grease all over the rail so um, <coughs> so if they can if they're leaking the grease out of them that means the dirt can get in uh, plastic dust or foam dust or whatever can actually get in them um, let me back back out here again I have another drawing that shows a little more detail um, this all I have done so far is the front view the head obviously will go below actually stick out in front of this here in the center uh, it has two feet of travel it will have an attachment um, that goes on here that actually sticks out and it will be capable of hot wire cutting um, four foot wide block for um, a distance of in excess of 12 feet um, you could contour cut the actual surfboards out first and then there's a whole um, apparatus that goes underneath here with suction vacuum cups and stuff to hold the actual board to contour it out to make the final shape that's not drawn yet <coughs> right now I'm just designing the actual mill um, let's see find another picture here and get a little more detail um, let's see nope, that's not the one I want to open computer this is a really big drawing so if uh, I'm gonna upload the actual drawings for those who have um, <coughs> um, who have downloaded eMachine Shop and you can actually bring these up on your own computer and look at them a little closer if you want um, let me open this one this is a little closer view of the actual um, XZ slide Like I said, this is a really big drawing, so it, it takes it a little while to do. This is not the fastest computer. It's only got one gig of memory in it, and I need about 20, I think. <laughs> oh, is it going to let me do it? you got to be patient when you load these. If, if you think it's not responding, it is. It's just taking it a long time. A little longer than I like. Ah, here we go. All right, uh, this Z axis slide in here is um, four inches wide three feet tall and um, it will be an inch and a quarter thick um, it, it's self-supporting just just that way it, it's not going to need um, any more volume to keep it from uh, <coughs> moving around when it's fully extended down because it's, like I said it's only cutting foam and the foam is puts no load on the cutter at all it just disappears as dust but um, e even if it was in into wood at slower speeds this this thing's never gonna do a contouring cut of two feet so um, 
<coughs> that would be more of a hot wire cut as far as contouring in Z. I also have another drawing that I've done. Let's see if I can find it. Um, here it is. I believe this is it. There we go. Um, these are drawings of the different uh, slide blocks for the assembly. Um, there, there's four here, and then these here. These are all identical. They come out. Get the equals key here. Find a keyboard. All right, um, <coughs> a little better view. This is uh, above view looking down on the actual track that it rides on on each end of the uh, x-axis. It's the y slide. The x-axis would extend this direction or, you know, if it's on, which determining whatever side it's on. This line don't belong here. Um, these are the blocks that you see on that Z and uh, X axis slide. Um, they are basically this section right here. Um, they don't require um, two sides because they're in a foot wide, uh, two foot long, one foot tall um, actual support mount that's going to ride on there. Um, <clears throat> out of the footprint of um, 6 foot by 15 foot, um, the usable travel will actually be uh, 13 foot on the center of the cutter and um, about a little over 4 feet uh, in the um, Y direction. So, I mean, this, this is a pretty big, big machine here. Um, We've already got the, uh, my buddy's friend has already, you know, decided to put up the money to start making a prototype, and I'll probably uh, finish up the plans so they can start on, start building it. I, <coughs> my health ain't going to allow me to participate in this one that well, but I'm just showing you, you know, basically what I've got drawn up. Um, that's about it for this video. For those of you that are still watching them, I appreciate your, uh, uh, taking your time to do it and if you have any questions or something you'd like to see or um, any uh, ideas um, or even comments about what I'm doing here um, post post me a, a message in the thread and um, we'll talk about it anyway thank you very much